Okay, so you guys are back, you know, for another season here, of course. I guess, how, how are you guys feeling, you know, getting back into the swing of things, back into, you know, regular, you know, pace of everything here? Uh, I think we're all just super excited to be back here. I know all of us had a good summer. Some of us are still out there playing in the World Cup, and we're obviously cheering them on when it's not at 3 a.m. Um, but we're all just super excited. Um, we trained a lot throughout the summer, did what we needed to do to come back here and feel prepared for the season. Are you going to talk to you a little bit about the World Cup? Some of your teammates are playing in the tournament. Have you guys waking up at 3 a.m. to watch some of those games? I guess what's it like to see your teammates competing um, at that level? Um, it's been awesome to see them. You know, we're just so proud of them and everything they've accomplished. And we know all the work they've put in to get there. I will say, I haven't caught all of them live. I've been watching the replays. But, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing to see them. We're so excited and just ready for them to be back, too, with the team. Year two with, with Coach Pensky and the assistant coaches. Just that familiarity that you all now have one year later. How does that maybe make this season a little more comfortable and, and easier just to jump into things? Yeah, and like you said, it is a little more comfortable coming in when we know what they're expecting of us and um, what we expect of them as well. Just we kind of figured out what works for both of us. And I think just coming back was so much more exciting. And not that it wasn't exciting before, but um, just more familiarity. And we're just excited also. We have a lot of new people coming in, uh, just kind of showing them how to do things and them teaching us new things as well. So. Um, overall, we're just very excited to get started. Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, I mean, it was nice to have the spring too um, and just be out of season and really work on like areas we need to work on and get just even stronger relationship between like the staff and players. So it helps with all the new people coming in. We can kind of like get settled into a routine again. With um, Mia transferring, how's your preparation been different this year with just getting ready for the season? Yeah, um, well, of course I miss her. She was my, <laughs> I love training with her, but I still keep in touch with her. She's having a great time at Texas, so I we obviously wish the best for each other and um, miss each other a lot. But now we have a new goalkeeper coming in, and Addie Todd, I'm super excited to get training with her. We started today. Um, she's great. She's awesome, and we're just going to help each other out in the best ways we can. With the way things have ended last season for you guys um, in the semifinals, um, how has that motivated you guys what you want to accomplish this season? I mean, I think, of course, some of us that have been here for a few years, like we know how different it is ending the season with a win, which is always a goal, and then when you're so close, and like our freshman year losing in the finals, last year losing semifinals, like it just – it makes you want it even more because you know like you were so close you were there we have all the talent we know that and so it's just about using our preparation now and just get ready like starting with game one and then just continuing that throughout the season so are you guys settling into your leadership roles being seniors and everything are you looking forward to that or is it a change or no um yeah i mean we are older now it came a lot <laughs> quicker than we thought it would but um but it is nice also we get transfers who are also graduates and uh, they teach us as well what they've learned from their other schools. Um, so I think overall we're doing pretty well, I would say, but um, it is different. Um, I think just kind of recognizing that everyone has a part in the team. There's not really one single person a part of this team. Um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I think we've had so many great leaders throughout the past few years it's kind of nice to have something to like build off from like we've seen you know like Jalen, Jenna, Emily, Clara, all of them so you can just look to that and kind of like know what the bases are. The standard. The standard. That's <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> I'm um, in the early season for you guys here. What's the most critical thing for you guys here? You know, developing, you know, getting ready for that first game. What's, in your guys' opinion, the biggest thing that you guys need to focus on or, you know, emphasize? I think, like I said, we have a lot of new people coming in, just kind of figuring out where everyone's at, um, trying to get familiar with each other and playing as many games as possible together in training, scrimmages, and stuff like that. Um, I would say that is one of them. And also off the field, just making sure we know what's um, what's expected of us when it comes to recovery, uh, school, as always. That's why we're here. And then, um, uh, like come, yeah, <laughs> and then coming back in uh, training at 100 percent every day. With this new season about to start, what are you guys looking forward to the most? 
Um, I'm excited for game days again. I've missed that. Uh, especially at home. It's just like such a special environment when the plex is packed and yeah, just being here with everyone, it's awesome. Um, I would say, I think just everyone just coming back together. Um, summer was a great time, but I think everyone coming back, you kind of see how they've developed in their own way because summer is kind of just an individual um, experience trying to get better in their own ways. So coming back and seeing how everyone has improved so much because they know what's expected of them, um, it's awesome to see every time. I guess the luck that you guys get at UCF for exhibition game. You mentioned new players. How big is that game going to be to get ready for the season, even though you probably won't have everyone back from the World Cup at that point? I think it's a, it's a big game, but I would say it's also we need to embrace our um, mistakes at the same time. It's going to happen, and I think especially for the new players, they should know that it's not about perfection. Um, while we do obviously want to win the game, um, but we need to figure out what's best for the team, and that's the first game and the best time to figure out uh, how we're going to do that. So I think overall it's going to be a very challenging game, but at the same time just trying to find our weaknesses and strengths and build upon that throughout the season. You mentioned a lot of new players coming in this year. What goes into making sure that those good players go up to the, to the standard that this program's had over the few year, past few years, you know, making deep postseason runs, winning the whole thing? You know, what goes into, you know, making sure that, you know, they're up to par by the time that first game comes around or, you know, the first few games? Yeah, I mean, I think, like, obviously the stuff on the field is super important and getting comfortable with playing with them and learning all the things we do. But I think the off the field stuff is even more important, just like the culture and kind of us showing them how things are done and kind of embracing them and just because everyone brings their own like unique set of skills and so just figuring out like how that works with the rest of our team I think like will happen throughout preseason and it's definitely a learning experience for everyone. So when you're at FSU and this has probably been the case throughout your years here the standards are really high and also the expectations everyone looks at the roster and is like wow there's a lot of good players they should be great they should never lose. <laughs> Um, do you guys, how do you guys deal with that type of pressure, with those expectations? I mean, is that something you embrace? You, you know, you, you like it that people think that you're going to be good all the time? Um, I think we embrace it a lot, but at the same time, we put a lot of, I wouldn't say pressure, but a lot of, um, it's okay, I'm it's okay, but, um, we put, yeah, everyone just knows what we expect of each other, and I think as long as we're doing the little things off the field and um, recovery-wise and coming onto the field and doing everything in practices, um, that's really all we can do. And we don't need to focus on what other people expect of us because we know what we expect of ourselves. Um, and just trying to figure out um, what we need to do individually and then collectively as a team, I think that's just all we can do, not think about outside factors. So I'm on the back line. There's a little bit of uncertainty from outside. Do you guys kind of know like who's going to be playing where? I know you're going to be in the, you know, in the center, uh, but do you kind of know where everybody's going to be? Um, I think like in general, yeah, people have like obviously we know we have a lot of good defenders. So I think throughout preseason we'll just work on like different lineups and kind of feeling it out and just you know getting everyone a chance to show themselves because I think. You know, everyone has, as Roque said, been working so hard this summer. So I think it's important that we get some, like, 11 v. 11, just some opportunities. How have you guys been impressed by the new freshmen? Have you got a chance to work with them a lot yet? Um, we actually had our first training today, but um, we've met them a couple days earlier, and they're awesome. They're ready to work. Uh, we can tell that they've done what they needed to do throughout the summer and um, ready to step in whenever they're needed or starting or this works out, but um, I think overall everyone's just super excited as a team. Um, that's all we can really do. And none of them are in the spring, so this is the first time they had a chance to work with us. Yes, we also have Claire and Taylor who are here in the spring, but they haven't been with us in the fall. So, so they did work with you in the spring? Yes, yes, they were, they were transferred.